everybody. Today we're going over the Bulgarian T-spine rotation. So I like this uh, as like a, as a primer or like prep work for a workout because you get to mobilize your T-spine in both hip flexion, which is when your knee rises closer to the hip, and hip extension, which is when your knee kind of goes towards or behind the hip. So this is a Bulgarian position. I'm gonna be here. I'm actually squeezing my glute to force more hip extension. I'm going to place my right hand on this leg. I'm going to reach back towards the bench here and I'm going to apply force into this leg. I'm going to pull on the bench with this arm and allow myself to have a little bit more rotation about my T-spine. I'm then gonna take three deep breaths in this position. Every deep breath that I'm doing, as I'm exhaling, I'm really trying to pull into my core more. So once again, applying force in this knee with this hand and pulling on the bench with my opposing hand. Boom, so I'll do it on three, three times that way, and then I do it three times this way. So rotating my T-spine once again, applying force into this thigh here, and pulling on the bench with this arm here. So. All the while squeezing my glute on this side. Just show you from a different angle, guys. Move that around a little bit. Right knee was down. All right, left knee down. So, uh. In this position here. So I'm going to, once again, hand, hip, or hand, knee, hand, bench, rotate. Try to get a little bit more rotation with each breath. And of course I go the other way. Huh. But yeah, guys, that is a uh, Bulgarian T-spine rotation. Really good if you find that you have um, issues with low back pain while you're lifting, or you find that your T-spine is very locked up. And you have issues with rotation. This is a great exercise to put like before your workouts, or even use on your off day. Really, if you just want to mobilize and feel good, I definitely recommend uh, an exercise like this. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And of course, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel.